Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm going to be walking you through our artwork swapper, uh, how it works, how to use it, um, and how to make sure you have it set up correctly. Um, so first things first, I'm in my test store here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I've already created a test product for this. So I'm going to go in here to my product. I'll go ahead and uh, let you see um, you know what it looks like right here um, when it opens up uh, it's got two Casey love John I've got my area that I can collect my top name and a custom field to collect the second name so you'll have to set this up there's a variety of apps that you can do this a variety of ways you can do this um, but you'll collect these on your own um, set up your artwork to show kind of what it's going to look like and figure it out from there. Um, so back to, um, we go into our Shine On app. Um, we'll go to our product here. So again, I've already set this up. That's what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and set your product up, make sure you have it set up correct. And then you're going to enable. Um, once you enable it, you will get this little pop-up that tells you once you've enabled it, you cannot disable it. You cannot go back and turn it back off once you've turned it on for a product. You will have to delete the product and you'll have to create a new one. Um, so just so you know that. Um, once you get an order, you'll be able to filter it in the order section to see which ones need new artwork. Um, really nice. And then once you submit the, the new artwork, it'll go straight to production, which is a really nice feature as well. Click understand and boom it has been enabled so um, how does it work now that we've enabled it let's go ahead and go to our store here and let's say i'm going to order this uh my name's george i'm ordering it for uh my wife erica perfect it's going to set up it's going to say to erica blah 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 love george awesome let's add that to our cart um, let's go ahead and delete this random one I have in here already and let's check out let's go ahead and put some pre-filled information in here we're just gonna do standard shipping I'm not paying for expedited and then I'm gonna place a bogus order So let's go ahead and place this test order. So there we go. Order's been placed. Thank you. So let's go back to, let's go to our order section here um, and let's resync our orders. Give it a second. Boom. There we go. Now it says uh, manual review required. Heads up. You got an order. So um, if you want to uh, filter it, click view manual review. Uh, you'll see here this first one as the one I did for a product that's out of stock, just shows up as cancel because it's in a review status. Um, this first one though, or this one on top, it's the one I just did, that product is in stock and it's saying you need to give us new artwork before you can process this order. So how do I do that? I go into my artwork concierge, click this button, it'll tell you, look, you need to give us new artwork. So in a perfect world, I would open up my Photoshop, I would take this document, delete out Casey, put in Erica, delete out John, put in George. Um, I'm not going to do that, just because it's a lot of work, um, but you guys know how to use Photoshop or Canva or whatever program you're using, make that change. So let's just pretend I did. I'm just gonna go in here, I'm gonna upload it. It's the same artwork, but pretend it's different. Um, and I'm gonna hit save changes. Now that I have submitted artwork, it's done. It's been resolved. So if I go back to orders, um, it goes straight into production. It's a waiting payment because I'm on a test store, but it would go into your production, um, be sent to us, and we would start the process of fulfilling that order. It's that simple. Um, 
that's it. That's as easy as it has to be. You can collect as many fields, as many custom fields as you want. Um, you can edit in any way you want. You can let people pick colors. You can let people pick names, dates, um, any customization that you really want. Um, you can let people do that. Uh, it's just going to be on you to create that piece of artwork and then submit that order, however you choose to do that. Um, but that's the that's how it works. It's as simple as that. Um, if you think you if you, if you have any questions, we're going to be writing up a, a knowledge base that I'll uh, link with it, and uh, hopefully that can answer any questions. Otherwise, feel free to read out, reach out to support, um, and we will do as much as we can to help you. But understand, this is a little bit of an advanced uh, area and feature. So if you plan to do this, be ready. It will take other apps or code customization to get it fully functional and up and working. Um, but thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.